Hey guys, Mechanic CG here, and welcome back to another episode of Gran Turismo 6. Today is episode number 28. If you guys do want to keep up to date with what is going on on the Mechanic CG channel, then make sure to go down in the description and check out all of our social links. We've got Discord, Twitter, and Instagram. Uh, and if you want to help support the channel, then make sure to hit that join button, that subscribe button, all that like button. And hopefully you guys do enjoy today's video. Right, so today what we're going to be doing is we are going to be taking part in the GT All-Stars Cup. Um, and what we're going to be doing is taking the Chevrolet Corvette Stingray. Uh, we've obviously driven this a couple of times. I think this will probably end up being the last uh, video we take this car. Um, in fact, no, I think there's a one-make race with... Uh, yeah, so there's a one-make race with the Corvette, so we can do that later. Um, but what we're going to do is the GT All-Stars Championship. We have five races here, all of them five laps. So we've got quite a bit of distance to do. And we are going straight for the championship. Uh, performance points is 650 or less. We're at 613 with 800 brake horsepower. Um, and the typical cars are Bugatti Veyron, the Lamborghini Venton, and the McLaren F1. Our car is way out of place for this. But hopefully, with all that power comes great speed at the high speed ring hopefully um it is 800 brake horsepower so we should have a chance with this and we have two different baguette very runs uh a mercury lago a viper an sls and a gtr i think our car will definitely be up to third but the two very runs mm, might struggle with those right here we go let's do this To be fair, it's got very similar acceleration to the Bugattis, so... And we've obviously got, uh, oh, racing hard tyres as well. Speed Demon. I don't even know what that's about, but something to do with speed, I guess. Holy shit. I'm glad we have a little bit of traction control because I feel like I wouldn't be able to control this car otherwise. Whoa! Look at that. It is a beast. It is... I think the last time we drove this, we had to put a performance limiter on to 95%, um, which brought it down to... I think about 680 horsepower. Um, we have put a racing exhaust on since. Um, and this car is absolutely obliterating the pack now. Look at those Veyrons up ahead. I'm not going to lie. The Veyron is a beautiful car. And I would, even to this day, I prefer a Veyron over a Chiron. Like, if you were to say, which car do you want? Do you want a Bugatti Veyron or a Bugatti Chiron? I think I'd still take the Veyron, because the Veyron is like the classic look. The Chiron's a nice car and all. And if you offered me just the Chiron, I'd take it. But if you offered me a choice of the two, I would take the Veyron over the Chiron. I don't care if the Chiron's slightly faster. The Veyron is the classic. But we have destroyed the Veyron, which is kind of surprising. Uh, I'm not going to lie. I wasn't expendi expecting this car to be able to handle the Veyrons. Awesome. Oh, 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 oh. Nearly. Very nice through here. I am looking forward to taking this onto Mount Panorama. Look at how that speed just climbs, though.
Right, go, go, go. We're going to see exactly how much top speed we can actually get out of this. 200. 208. Fair enough. I don't think even the Bugatti Veyron could get that speed that quick. Perfect. The Veyrons are just behind though. They are managing to keep up. Oh. And tyres are overheating a little bit. Well, I'm not fussed. I'm not fussed because I've got a Camaro. It's not Camaro, it's Corvette. They're two completely different cars. Come on, get off the wall, get off the wall. Perfect. Nice, nice, nice. Awesome. Slow down, slow down, come on. Nice. And here we go, across the line. That is such a heavy car to try and drift. Wow. I thought it was lighter than that. Right, let's take... How much money do we get per race for this? 26,000. Is that it? Okay. Interesting. Three stars. Very nice. And moving on to race number two now. We've got 100 points in the championship so far. We want to get at least like 450. Apricot Hill Raceway. That is a good track. That is a very good track. This is going to take about eight minutes for this race. Are we going to get to see what cars we're going against? I mean, I do like the music, but like, I want to see who we're driving against. Perfect. Oh yeah, it's the same cars, isn't it? Because it's championship. We've got Veyrons, Vipers, SLS. Yeah, it's the same thing. It's a championship, isn't it? And here we go. Apricot Hill Raceway in the Chevrolet C7 Corvette. Let's do this. Look how the game's just messing up shifting gears because it just doesn't know what to do with 800 horsepower in a Corvette. Come on, come on, nice. It's been really cool as well playing uh, Gran Turismo completely with a manual gearbox, uh, like the entire of GT6. Because obviously it was, I think, episode 9 we started going to manual transmission, and I was like, yo, this is actually easier than I thought. Um, And then uh, playing the entire of Gran Turismo 6 with the manual transmission has just been so much fun. Um, even the dirt racing we did with the manual transmission, which um, we actually turned it off for um, the rally events in episode 26, 27, and 28 of uh, GC5. Perfect. Here 
we go. Catch up with the Bugattis. And, oh, that's the Lamborghini Aventador. That's interesting. This is obviously the first Gran Turismo with an Aventador in. I do think it's going to have to be mandatory for them to put uh, in Gran Turismo the next one. Uh, Gran Turismo 7. They're going to have to put um, the Bugatti Veyron, the two kinds. Because obviously, I... Honestly, couldn't care if the game was 150 gigabytes. Like, as long as it's a good game, I couldn't care how much storage it takes because good games stay. Um, and I'll prioritize deleting the worser games. And obviously, I wouldn't delete Gran Turismo because it's a fun game. Um, but. Oh, here we go. Nice. I'm really looking forward to seeing how this uh, NVMe SSD, because obviously that's like the fastest SSD you can get for a PC. Um, so I'm hoping to see like Gran Turismo almost load nearly instantly. That'd be really cool to see. It is good that um, PS5 and Xbox Series X, they're both aiming towards making consoles that are designed for gaming. They're not just old computers that they put some parts together. They're actually doing exactly what gaming PCs would have in them. Nice. Right, four minutes, three laps done. Let's go. Oh. No, 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 no. Keep it steady. Perfect. Don't even think about it. Jesus. Nearly spun my car out completely there. go go right we have one more lap left to do and this we're going to aim to try and get the fastest lap on nope ruined it straight away way too late on the breaking point there Way too late on the brakes there. The 
the Veyrons and the Aventador have made their way miles ahead of the track now. I'm pretty sure if we were driving a Veyron, we'd be even further ahead of us than now. But the AI is just so bad at driving cars in this game. But then again, I'm alright with it because I'm still winning. I like to win. No. No! Jesus! I got around on that corner and it started to slip out and I tried to recover it. And for some reason, I was accelerating while I did it. I spun out. Oh my god, if I lost that race. Jesus. That gave me a heart attack. That gave me a genuine heart attack. I think I need to go to a hospital. Jesus. 27,000 credits. Nice. Three stars. On to the next race, which is going to be Mount Panorama, I think. I think. GC All Stars. Mount Panorama, yes. Right, it is now time for five laps of Mount Panorama. Let's do this. It's our time to shine. Mount Panorama obviously has the long straights. The uh, two very long straights and the one medium length straight. Uh, but what it also has is the very narrow upper section where it goes up and down and the uh, altitude changes dramatically. There are like, imagine the Laguna Seca corkscrew. Yes, it, they may not be as big, but there's more of them. And that's why I love this track so much. Here we go, come on. Got a Lamborghini Murcielago Super Velocity in front of us. I think that's how you say it. SV. We'll shorten it down. Make life easier for everyone. We're going up the mountain section here. Jesus. Yeah, that does happen a lot. Um, is There are some very tricky corners here. This one in particular is a tricky corner because it's tighter than you expect. And now here's the corkscrew section. It's like corkscrew after corkscrew. And then here's the final corner of the upper section onto the second main straight. Right, and there are the Veyrons up in front as well. Nice. Gameplay's gone really smooth again. Okay, yeah, we're going to have to learn how to take that corner properly. Uh, it's a li <laughs> little bit too quick for our car. That was the latest we could have been breaking. Any later and we would have lost the car into the wall or something. This is five laps of two minutes a lap. But this is a good track, so I'm not too worried about it. Stay off of the curbs as much as possible. This car loves to wheel spin. And we love to overtake Bugatti Veyron, so let's do this. Alright, try not to spin out of this corner. Awesome. There's the tricky corner that everyone always overshoots. There have been so many crashes at that corner because people overshoot it and don't expect it to be uh, that tight.
I really wish we could get like a free Bugatti Veyron. That would be so sick to get. Awesome. Because obviously we got the free Veyron in the last game. Like, in um, GT5 you got a free car after every single... Um, Jesus. You got a free car if you got gold after every single championship or every single like series. This game you don't get that. Um, which I sort of understand. But there are so many cars to offer and I'm pretty sure no one's going to buy all of them. So like they could have given a few free ones. Very good. Let's see if we can get into fifth gear on this lap. And we did. Awesome. Oh! Perfect. Trying to make it off as if it was like a sick drift, but uh, didn't quite work. Didn't quite work that way. Right. I mean, at least we sort of know a little bit better how to take that corner. Perfect. I wonder what it would be like living inside the middle of this like track. I wonder what's even in the middle of some of these tracks. Perfect. Oh! Didn't even see that corner coming. What the fuck? I think I zoned out a little bit, to be honest. Right, here we go. I think for the final section, I want to try and do interior Look 
how nice the interior actually looks. Perfect. Slidey. Ah, we've hit the wall there. Not great. Come on, come on. Awesome. Looking at some very good uh, speed here. Hopefully we can get a much better time than uh, before. Obviously, we're in interior, so for some reason the game has to run at like 30 FPS now. Perfect. And off we go. And now 60 FPS. I prefer it in 60. I think we'll stick to this camera view. You're joking. Where were my brakes? Like, I was braking from the brake, like, at the start of the corner where I did every single lap. And there was no stopping power. To be fair, we are still 25 seconds ahead, so uh, I feel like that's plenty of gap to not have to worry when we're at the finish line. There we go, though. 11 minutes for that race. Crazy long. 27,000. Is that it? Are you serious, game? I was expecting more. Okay, it's probably a bad thing to say. I'm expecting more. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below, and subscribe. If you want to keep up to date on the Mechanic CG channel, then be sure to check out the description for our social links. We've got Twitter, Discord, and Instagram if you want to go check all of those out. Uh, if you want to help support the channel, make sure to hit that join button. Or you can go and grab yourself some merch. Either would mean the world to me. But thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.